Hey Psych2Go family, welcome back to another video. Before we begin, we wanted to give you a big thank you for all of the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. So let's begin. Do you sometimes long for a time that you've lost? Have you been fixated on a person or memory you can't get back? Dwelling too much on the good old days can sometimes hold us back in life. So it's important to understand and come to terms with your past to welcome the better things in life. Here are seven signs that you're still haunted by your past. One, you hold on to grudges. Do you refuse to forgive others and hold grudges against them? When you hold a grudge against someone, you may be choosing to waste your time and energy on a negative past experience you can't change. By allowing your resentment to fester and grow, you may end up being bitter and hinder your own healing. Two, you blame yourself for everything. Do you beat yourself up over every tiny mistake or drown yourself in self-pity? There's a difference between holding yourself accountable and blaming yourself for everything that goes wrong in your life. These feelings of guilt, shame, and regret may keep you stuck in the past and make it hard for you to be happy. Three, you lose yourself in nostalgia. Do you often talk to your friends about the good old days and reminisce about the happy memories you used to have? Nostalgia is an easy psychological trap to fall into. You may be guilty of romanticizing your younger years to the point of losing sight of what you have now. By overindulging in the past, you may be moving backwards instead of forwards with your life. Four, you wonder about what could have been. Have you ever wondered about the things that could have been? Every missed opportunity, every chance you never took, or choice you never made, it still haunts you. No matter how much time has passed, you can't help but ask if things would have been better if you chose differently. But obsessing over what might have been may only lead to more misery, discontentment, and wasted time. Five, you reject new opportunities. Is there a promotion you turned down recently or a certain position you're too afraid to run for? Or maybe you have a crush you've been too scared to approach. As scary as these choices may seem, they're all opportunities for you to grow and change for the better. The more you reject your opportunities out of fear, the more you're likely to stay rooted in the past. Six, you're not looking forward to anything. Have you reached a certain age or attained a certain goal that has you asking yourself, now what? Do you feel like you don't have anything to look forward to anymore? You may be worried that your best days are behind you or that your life is only gonna go downhill from here. And this feeling of being stuck in a meaningless, monotonous routine may be why you retreat into the comfort of your past. And number seven, you don't have any plans for the future. Are you scared to think about what college you wanna go to or what you're gonna do after you graduate? Do you draw a blank when it comes to your future plans? You may be in denial that it's time for a new chapter of your life to begin. This uncertainty of the future may be stopping you from going forward in life. Do you relate to any of the signs mentioned here? Are you still stuck living in the past? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. All of the references used are also added in the description box below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.